Hello, my name is Gabe Zolna. Interesting article on uh, Western Center for Journalism. Top Obama supporter in prison opposition like a third world dictator. Well, Al Sharpton, that many of us know, uh, and if you don't know, he is a left-wing freak activist that comes out to feed generally at night, especially when he can pit the uh, blacks against the whites or the left against the right. And I guess he dug up uh, Harry Belafonte. Sure looks like he might have dug up Harry Belafonte. And like Sharpton, Belafonte is a left-wing activist. And they were uh, talking about uh, what they felt was totally unfair. They felt that during, or Belafonte felt that during the first election, he was sort of uh, surprised that uh, the uh, American people put an African-American into the White House. Harry, newsflash. Obama is not an African-American. Obama is an Arab Muslim, and there's a tremendous big difference. Just for your own edification, uh, Arabs traded in African slaves. That's what they did for a living, you know? So maybe Obama's great-great-great-granddaddy might have had some of your family on a slave ship. I don't know, but there's a good chance of that. Anyway, so what happened was Belafonte was saying that uh, when uh, the second election came up, they were somewhat concerned that Obama wouldn't get reelected, and obviously he did get reelected. And now he's saying that he believes that it's wrong that um, the right isn't sort of adhering to the wishes of the American people. And then he went on to say that, uh, you know, what's Obama expected to do? I mean, he's expected to uh, work as a uh, third world dictator and imprison those people that don't know, necessarily go along with his wishes? Well, you know, he's not at that point yet, Harry, but uh, he has found ways to circumvent the Constitution and to do pretty much whatever he wants to do, like when he decided that he wanted to get rid of Gaddafi. And then, given all kinds of military high-grade weapons to the rebels uh, in Libya, didn't really do it. So what he did was to sort of expedite things, to make things happen at a quicker pace. He sent in um, our Air Force, and they decimated whatever was left of Gaddafi's forces. And then Gaddafi ended up being raped and killed and dragged to the streets. He tried doing the same thing, I think, in, in, in uh, Syria, or he's still working on that. But anyway, that's a whole different story. But Harry, you need to get your facts straight, all right? And you need to learn how to pronounce his name. You're having a difficult time pronouncing his name. And I don't know, maybe you're becoming senile like Sharpton appears to be, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, the American people did not vote Obama in for a second term. They couldn't have, all right? None of the polls indicated that he even had a shot at it. A fair shot. That's the term he likes to use. And the only way he got in was because of voter fraud, Harry. And I'm hoping that that gets proven. And I'm hoping, even if it doesn't get proven, I'm hoping that Electoral College folks wake up and don't nominate him. And if they do, then we still have a couple of trials that might end this nightmare. But it does have to end. It cannot continue. Because if it does continue, America will soon no longer exist. Think not. Watch and see. Hope you don't have to see it, because I hope it does end.